Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far and I'm hoping that I can make your week maybe a little bit greater. Maybe a lot greater, it's all relative, right? <laughs> I'm gonna share with you a tip today that came out inside of AutoCAD 2015 and it is called galleries. I love galleries. I'm gonna show you how awesome they are, how they're gonna make your life so much easier, especially if you're a visual kind of person. And then if I don't convince you, I will also show you how to turn them off. If you don't like them, you can get rid of them. Okay, all right. So what are galleries? Let me show you. I'm gonna to go to the insert tab on my ribbon and I'm gonna go click on insert. And you will see that AutoCAD shows me a gallery of all of the blocks inside of my drawing. Very visual, super easy. I don't have to go to the insert dialog box and then select one of the blocks, try to find the right block name, make sure it's right. I can see by looking at it exactly which one I'm grabbing. All right, so I wanna insert this plant, rubber plant. I'm gonna grab it and you literally drag and drop it into place. So easy. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that rubber plant. <laughs> it kinda makes me wanna burst into song <laughs> right there. Okay, and it's done. Now, what if you don't like the size of that or you wanna change the scale factor? You can drag and drop it. And if you take a look at the command line, you have all the options that you would expect. You can change the base point, you can, you can scale it, you can rotate it. Let's scale it, all right? Let's make it a little bit smaller. We'll type in 0.5. And now we have a tiny little rubber plant, which still makes me wanna burst into song. <laughs> so you have all of the options that you have with the insert command, except that it's much more visual. Okay, what if you want the real live insert command? Well, you can still type in an I at the command line, or you can, if you want to do it from the ribbon, you don't have to key anything in. There's more options at the very bottom there of that list is more options. And then here, you know, we're back to what we're used to seeing. Okay, very friendly, very easy, but not as friendly as galleries. All right, so Lynn, tell me about more galleries because indeed there are more. If you go to annotate, you will see that there are galleries for dimension styles. So you don't have to remember the name of the dimension style. It's so it's very, very visual for you. The names are still there, of course. There are table styles. Once again, same idea. You're very, very visual and you'll also find them for multi-leaders. So multi-leader style. You can tell I was kind of moving my the panels around on my ribbon. But once again, very friendly, very visual. It makes it a little bit easier to make sure that you get the right style. All right, so if I didn't convince you, how do you get rid of it? Easy, you go to gallery, which it, it, this wasn't in 2015, they added it later because somebody complained about galleries. Was it you? They're so awesome. I can type in a zero to turn gallery view off and now you'll see if I go to dimension styles, you will see one, two, three, four, five. No, that's not very clear to me. I don't know about you. I'm sure you have better names, but it just isn't nearly as awesome as it was before. The awesomeness is gone. See, I don't have the drop down list. It just executes the insert command. So it's up to you to gallery or not to gallery. The choice is really yours. I hope you will gallery. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks.